Barbara Sadlater is in the start house. She's 24 from Bayer, Austria, an auto mechanic in her family's own garage. A woman who is a great competitor but has struggled with weight and physical conditioning and technical problems. And of course, being a member of the Austrian team doesn't make it any easier. She said the other challenge was just to make the team because they're such an incredibly deep Austrian contingent. She thought the Olympics would be easy after that. Well, the Rock to Fair course is not easy no matter what team you're on. Caught quite a bit more air there than Gutensen, and again there, you can see she's just on the backs of her skis a little bit, and you know, it looks, Tim, like indeed the visibility is getting worse. She is certainly getting bounced around, and it, it appears as if she's not seeing some of the small bits of terrain. Headed now for the bumps. Nicely through the first. The second bump is bigger. We'll see how she handles it beautifully. Didn't catch hardly any air at all there. And only a hundredth of a second behind at that split. It's so interesting because Sodlater's technique is so awkward, really. Her arms flail a lot. She's not particularly smooth on her skis, but boy, she lets them fly. That's a typical Austrian trait. Sodlater in pursuit of leader, Katrin Gutensen. She caught that gate there. She's really having an all out run, though. Through the trees and headed down. The time to beat on the left is Katrin Gutensen. Just two hundreds behind. She's got a chance here on the bottom. And this last face so tough because it's important to hit the line correctly on these turns, and yet your legs are so tired at this point. They don't want to do what you tell them. Sadlater driving to the bottom here. Gutensen's time to beat on the left. And the Austrian into second place, just point one behind. Let's go up to Cindy Nelson at the start house for a downhiller.